Hey, hey y'all. <laughs> no, let me stop. Hi. Okay, so as you guys can see, I am finally in a different environment. Let me take these off because I can't see. There we go. Um, a different environment than I normally am. It was just too uh, gorgeous out to not be outside. <laughs> Even though it's hot and I'm a little bit sweating, but it's so nice to be outside. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. If I sound like I'm like yelling, it's because the pool is in the background and I have a bunch of loud kids across the street because everybody's home screaming. So I kind of had to like rearrange everything, stuff like that. Um, hey, yeah, I decided to record early only because it was so nice out and I wanted to get outside um, because the rest of the week is supposed to be rainy and I'm trying to do like a different episode somewhere different so this is like my different episode so I'm outside with kind of like the summer vibe type of thing so it's kind of what I'm trying to do you know um maybe I have braids now so maybe I can get in the pool <laughs> actually I haven't been in a pool or a beach you know um for like two three years like I'm one of those people who put my feet in and then get out Versus like swimming for like nine laps. But we'll see. The day is still young, you know. <laughs> but I might get in. Because it's really nice out. And it's like officially, officially summer. I always say it's officially summer like after the 4th of July in my mind. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, so I know last week episode I said I was trying. The title of last episode was Changing Your Surroundings. And I kind of didn't work because I couldn't really get to where I needed to be with the vibe I was trying to give off. But today, yay, finally able to, to be outside and, um, you know, just enjoy nature, the warmth, the water, you know, the sounds. It kind of puts me in the mindset of being by a beach without physically going to a beach. Um, I think that's the beauty of kind of just surrounding yourself with nature, like wherever you are, whether it's like a park or a beach or if you're hiking, which I started doing a little bit, not a lot, a little bit. Or even just like, um, you know, jogging in a different town, you know, something different to just kind of like center yourself. Because for me, I kind of like overthink a lot of things. And the best thing for me, it's weird, is just sitting by water, whether it's like a lake or a pond, you know, beach, wherever. That's just kind of something that kind of like calms me. I don't know. I think it's like the soothing, the soothing of the waves and things like that, you know, kind of just brings me back to center. So, for today's episode, episode 43, I'm going to finally get um, the number right one of these days. Um, And this one is titled, Walking a Path. So, you know, I kind of did something like this episode a couple, like, like, like a month or two ago, when I had another podcaster on, Taj, who was walking in your footsteps, footprint, excuse me, and we were talking about her podcast, her path, um, you know trying to follow you know the walk of god and you know her surroundings and things like that and something she said kind of stuck with me the reason why that she started doing her podcast and also trying to find a balance of reading the bible following the word you know keeping her faith and it was just something about just persistence and patience it's not one thing it's kind of like two words but it was persistence and patience and for me i don't have any patience so um doing this process of doing the podcast first not doing them live they were just audios and now doing them live trying to do it every week but doing them live and kind of having this interaction of you know face to face essentially you know even though I'm not like next to somebody or talking to somebody this is new for me because I've mentioned a couple of times that I'm not really a a talker (laughs) I'm not really that outgoing person I'm kind of like the friend over here that like if you want to talk to me you can and if you don't I'll be fine but doing these live versus um just doing the audio kind of has brought up my confidence like a little bit kind of has brought out my shell as a teeny bit because I'm not really one to do like uh, eye contact and I'm not one to like um, be like hey look at me I'm gonna talk for 20 minutes and just listen to what I have to say I'm kind of like I said the nodder, the people watcher, and kind of the one who's like, well, if you need to talk to me, I'll be over here, but if you don't, that is okay, I'm fine. But I felt that it was a little bit more personable, I think I mentioned this, to, to not just do the audio, because after a while, you get tired of hearing somebody just talking every every week about the same thing, blah, 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 blah. 
sometimes, at least with the topics that I pick or I try to pick, I kind of try to pick things that I've gone through, experiences that I've gone through, um, my two cents on, on whatever whatever I'm talking about. And I feel like you can kind of get the point across if you're kind of doing the face-to-face thing. Because it's like, it's just like if you're talking to somebody like your best friend about something. And, you know, certain topics, certain conversations require you to be on the phone, you know, or require to be in person. Um, cause I don't know, I think it just gets like the message across a little bit, um, stronger than just listening to it or doing like a 20 minute thing. You know, I'm trying to, to narrow these down cause before they were like an hour, an hour and 30 minutes. But I think if you get a good solid 25 minutes or so in, I think your point can get across and it really depends what you're talking about. So for this one, um, is walking your path so honestly it could really mean anything like it's not just one way to do that you know what i'm saying like i've learned the hard way that you know everybody has a different journey everybody goes through things differently everybody ends up where they are differently and for the longest i would um be wondering i'm like well what happened to the person that i once knew and why are they acting this way but unless you know it's the oldest saying in the book you know the cliche Unless you walk in their shoes, you know, you don't know what they've gone through. And for me, it took me a while to realize what that really meant. You know, not just, like, hearing somebody say, well, you know, unless you walk in my shoes, you don't understand me. But, like, actually really understanding what that meant. Because anybody can say that just to avoid a situation or to avoid a conversation. But until you, like, literally (laughs) go through something that they've gone through, it's hard for you to question why they do the things they do. Because... You know, nine times out of ten, they're not really doing it on purpose, you know, out of malice, unless, you know, there's another thing going on. But people do go through things. Everybody can't, you know, just never be upset or have a bad day or be in their, their feelings or be in their bag or whatever you want to phrase it. And for me, I would have to learn how to separate me thinking that I did something wrong versus, okay, they're just going through this thing. Let them deal with it. And, you know, if they want to come back to me, they can without me taking it personally because I'm one of those people who take everything personally because I'm like what did I do I'm so nice I'm so nice but and it just uh, it was a process of learning to take to not take things seriously like for me when I would lose when I would get fired from jobs I would take it personally because I've never really had like a real job job before I had maybe one I guess real job job like I've had other jobs but I wouldn't really consider them like a long-term thing but um Not that I got fired a lot, (laughs) but it just, I would just move to different jobs, and sometimes it was Harvard School. But when I finally got the big job job that was full-time, that had benefits, um, those salary and things like that, and fortunately we had to part ways, that's what I'm putting it as, um, I took it personally, what had happened, what went down, because, you know, and uh, when you lose something, or when something is taken from you, you you figure, your mind goes straight to, what did I do wrong, how could I fix this, what could I have done differently? And that's the same thing with um, doing what um, you believe is right, whether it be um, not going to college and focusing on music or art or dance or not doing this degree and focusing on associates or focusing on a trade or focusing on, you know, starting up your business that that you've always wanted to do or even dropping out of college to support your family. It's not something that's ideal. But it's never something or shouldn't be something that's long term because sometimes we get stuck in just wanting to um do things that gets comfortable and then once you know we get past that oh this is not so bad then we get stuck in it but sometimes i feel like if we separate this is a short-term goal or short-term situation versus oh my god this is gonna be my life i think things can go on a little better and if you hear that noise it's just my neighbors cutting their trees so if they get too loud i will cut this short but um yeah so for me walking my path i've gone through a lot of different uh routes whether it be with uh, fashion whether it be with uh, music whether it be with top design whether it be with criminal um uh, criminal defense, whether it be with um, anthropology, whether it be with forensic science, it was just, uh, or stylist, it would be just all over the place, because I didn't really know what my path was, I just kind of, when I was younger, like much, much younger, when I was kind of figuring out what I wanted to do with my life, you know, I wanted to be like a princess, and I wanted to be like a doctor, I wanted to like, you know, save the world, but 
as I got older, I kind of felt like, oh, fashion could be my thing because I love fashion. I love styling. I love, you know, things that are different, you know, unique in your own way, creative artists and things like that. But as time went on, I realized I'm just doing this just to be doing it. Like the joy of me going to the fashion courses, going to the museums for the, for the projects and homework assignments, um, doing different designs or doing, um, um, what is that, fashion production, things like that. It kind of lost, the fun kind of was sucked out of it as time went on versus, oh my God, this is something I would love to do. I wake up, I breathe, I live fashion. It kind of was just like, oh yeah, fashion unfortunate nothing wrong with it but I think that just I was I wasn't really like it wasn't my calling if that makes sense so then from fashion I went on to doing the music thing which I love to do and I've incorporated different ways to do music whether it be with the DJing whether it be with the creating music and now with the saxophone which is fun I do love doing that I'm learning different things trying different things you know I've never played an instrument before without somebody teaching me how to play it but I actually taught myself you know, how to play the sax, and finally how to read music, a little bit I know, <laughs> but it's been fun. But for me, I was so used to saying, oh, this is what I should be doing, this is where I should be in life, I'm about to be 28, I should be so much further along than where I am, because I was so focused, so busy focusing on other people, and what they were doing, and how they got there, and why haven't I gotten there, versus just, you know, letting go, let God, and just follow His word, and where I should end up, because Everybody should, everybody's going to end up where they need to be, whether you do it on your own mouth or whether you just let things flow. And depending on your personality, if you're like me, I don't like to just stay in one spot or I feel like I'm not doing enough and I should be doing more. Because you should never be satisfied with what is, you know, you should always go like maybe two, three, four steps ahead, you know, to keep pushing yourself, keep pushing yourself and seeing how far you can go. Because, you know, everybody has, I don't want to say a limit, but everybody has potential to be, you know, further along and better than where they are at the right time. Nothing wrong with where you are, but if you can be better, if you can, um, you know, get further along, then why not try it? Nothing wrong with just, you know, wanting to uh, be better and do great things and things like that. And I feel like once we separate the noise, once we separate why people, you know, don't understand, you know, why we are the way we are, why we do the things that we do, um, I think things will be a little bit easier than just, oh, this is what it is, let me just focus on that, or this is what it is, let me just do that. And when you focus on walking in your path, or walking your path, or walking in your footsteps, or following your footsteps, or walking in your journey, um, I feel like things kind of just eventually will balance out. Things kind of will eventually fall into its place once you just allow things to happen naturally. You know, allow things to happen organically because once we start kind of like forcing things and once we start kind of like wondering why this isn't happening when it should be at this time in our life, then I think it gets a little tricky. You know what I mean? I just need some water because it's so hot out here. So excuse me for the silence. Um, that's the one thing, I'm, and I mentioned this before, that I'm not thrilled about. Um, when it's just me talking because it's like you're just talking and talking and talking and it's like no right way to stop and have like a sip of water especially if you're on audio when you're doing the recording on audio because then it's like it's a weird silence and people are like what is that noise it's just like oh it's just me slurping that water so I'm just like don't mind me but um, my things that I've and I left my book inside but I've, I've showed it on here before which was um, 305 days of daily dose for the, for the healthy soul by um, Amara Jamari, uh, uh, Jamari, I don't want to butcher her name, but next time I'll bring it, but you've seen the book that has, you know, a daily dose, a daily word for each of the days, and I kind of started a little bit late, mostly people start at the beginning of the year, and I kind of started later in the year, but every day they give a different scripture, different quote, and she talks about different experience that, you know, she's used in her life, and I feel like if you read, not you don't have to read the Bible daily, but I feel like if you read one of the daily doses or the what is it, the daily devotionals or the daily word, once a day, I feel like you kind of have, what is it, like a different perspective on things, whether it be the journey that you want to walk through, the route you want to take, um, the decisions you want to make, and I feel like with whatever I'm reading, whatever scripture I'm on, because it's a different scripture all over the place each day, and a different quote that she talks about, 
I feel like it kind of answers or solidifies something that I'm dealing with or something that I'm going through in my mind or something that's been bothering me in some shape or form without me kind of knowing it until like later in the day and, I'm, and I remember, oh, I read that and that kind of put this into perspective for me, if that makes sense. Because I'm one of those that needs to visualize what I'm trying to um, foresee versus just talking about it. I think we're all just talking about it, but once I see it, it's happening, and I can slowly see it happening, and it's in the right direction, and I can kind of, like, you know, relax, <laughs> versus just, like, being like, why isn't this happening? Oh, no. So, one of those, like, freaks out, like, after the fact, and during, and in the beginning, and so on and so forth, so that's just me. But the reason why I titled this Walking Your Path versus um, Following Your Footsteps or um, walking the journey is because the path can go in many different directions, just like a road, just like a, a corner, just like a street, not corner, you know, just like a street, there you go. <laughs> and once you decide to not just be like, okay, unless you have a plan, unless you know what you want to do from birth, unless you're one of those who's kind of like boom, 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 and you're not kind of like, well, wherever the spirit flows or whatever the creativity leads me to, I would say follow the path and, and, and just let I don't want to say like let things just happen naturally because some things should happen naturally and organically but other things you know you should work towards you should focus on you should build on you should practice on and things like that but i feel like once you set that path like have that path and just kind of follow it this way and if it doesn't work kind of tweak some things and then make this way and make this turn and if that doesn't work and then go my video pause sorry um but I was saying, yeah, if it doesn't work, go this way. And if it does work, then keep going this way and make a little detour to go back this way. Because you can always make detours in your paths. You can always make detours in your decisions. It doesn't have to just be, you know, this, 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 this. Unless it's certain things. But if it's something like music or creative writing or artists or singing or rapping or designing or whatever the case may be in the creative world, I always feel it's best to kind of let things just happen, you know, as they flow as things go versus um just kind of being like well why isn't this working and why isn't that happening and things like that and for me i've kind of just decided to be like well god whatever you decide is right for me whatever you decide you know i should be doing now or i should be doing later or i should be waiting a month or two three months on then i'll do it instead of me for instead of me versus me forcing myself to be like why is this happening this should be happening i should be here because you know everybody has plans everybody has short-term girl goals long-term goals and so on and so forth and you know, for females at least the ones that i know when you're at that certain you know age mark say you're 27 20 29 30 you feel like you should already be living by yourself you should have that job you should have that car you should have that steady income you should have that man you should be on the path to getting married you should be on the path to having kids versus you know where i am where a lot of people are where you're still at home not because you plan to it is cheaper but things just happen nothing wrong with that nothing to be ashamed about um where you're still home you don't have that job that you wish you had whether it be a nine five whether it be in the creative world um you you don't you're not biased you're not living on your own which you know i would like to be but things just happen the way they happen so during this whole time of covid and during this whole what 18 months or so on and so forth you know i've been able to save and plus making more money um on unemployment versus in working because you know before i was working part-time and i wasn't making you know what i should be making at my age and my level of experience um and just things just didn't happen the way that I would have liked it to, and yes, I am turning 28, oh my god, soon, 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 um, and yes, I would like to be very further along than I am now, but I'm just trying to just understand why I am where I am still, and kind of work with that, and also build and focus on how I can get further along, and how I can start checking things off because that's what I do. I write goals, I write long term goals, I write short term girl goals. I'm saying girls go short term short term oh my god, short term goals. There we go. For me to see once I visualize like I said visualize them. And once I see it I can like okay I can achieve this by this time and I can achieve that by this time and I can focus on this for this amount of time. So like for right now I'm saving and this whole time I've been saving so when things open up you know, I can find that right job, and I can find um, a place to stay or things like that. You know, I can start doing my little checklist. Because once I see it and I can visualize it, and okay, I can achieve this amount of time to do that. 
and then I can focus on this amount of time to do that. So once you kind of like write out your goals and kind of like write little pros and cons here, write little lists and bullet points there, it kind of really flows, kind of really works with that. So my thing is for you guys to understand, you know, even with me, I'm kind of not like the guru of all, but when it comes to, you know, understanding your destiny and just following heart, you know, it sounds cliche, it's for following your heart and following, you know, what matters to you. I think things become a little clearer and a little more fun, you know, because if you're doing something that you love, doing you know, something that's your journey, your path, your, your destiny, if you want to call it that, it should be something fun to experience along the way. Not, not that things shouldn't be hard and difficult, but it should be a fun experience, not just like, oh, stressing about everything, being upset about everything, and that's why I mentioned or started off this episode with saying, um, the quote, the saying of, you know, you don't understand somebody unless in your shoes. And once you stop, like I said earlier, taking things personally and want, and focusing on yourself and being a better person for yourself and bettering yourself versus wondering why this person is talking to you or wondering why, you know, they've kind of gone quiet for about two, three months because they are also focusing on themselves and they're also trying to better themselves. Because everybody needs, like I mentioned in the last three to two weeks ago, that time to just step away from people, whether it be for a reason or just because they're dealing with their own thing kind of just focus on themselves because some people sometimes people just need to just regroup you need to restart you need to be fresh and it's hard to do that i think i mentioned this a couple weeks ago yeah, it's hard to do this do that when you're so focused on giving all your energy and your time and your aura to somebody else or other people that you're kind of draining yourself without knowing it and it's okay to take one week two weeks a weekend a month whatever even a year to kind of just get yourself together so you can be the best version of yourself because as long as you keep um you know succumbing to um people and, and their, their energy and giving off their energy to people and not focusing on yourself and nurturing yourself and healing yourself and you're only harming yourself at the end of the day versus being the best you can for everybody to enjoy themselves for you to enjoy yourselves and for you to grow as well because once you start Letting yourself grow, letting yourself heal, letting yourself be vulnerable, letting yourself be, like I keep saying, the best version of yourself, of you, then I think things kind of fall into place. Things kind of go the way they should be. And that's why I say walking your path is your path. Just like walking their path is their path. Everybody doesn't have the same path. <laughs> it would be easier if that way if they did. But everybody doesn't have the same path. Everybody doesn't have the same route. You know, everybody doesn't have the same detours and stops and rest stops and things like that and so on and so forth. Everybody has their own lane that they should be in you can sway out of it for a bit but once you figure out that that doesn't work come back in your lane and focus on yourself so that you can get that you so that you can not just be the best version of yourself for yourself but also be the best version of yourself for other people so they can see how you're thriving and growing and, and being great and being awesome so they can also do the same thing and so on and so forth because once people see that you're doing stuff for the right reasons you know, for the healthy reasons that you're bettering yourself, taking care of yourself, you're growing, you're smiling, you're self-confident, you're just being you, that glow will seep out into other people and they would want to be better and want to do great and want to, you know, give something, give more to society than just, you know, what is, and so on and so forth. So it's like a domino effect, you know, a positive domino effect. So I would leave you with this, well, two things. One, walking your path does not mean that you just have to just be like over here in this little corner, in this little ditch, and just wondering and waiting what will happen for you to be great. Walking in your path also means you have to work for what you want. You have to practice with what you want. You have to want to be better, want to give more, want to do more, as well as supporting others and, you know, just being nurturing, caring, respectful, honest, and, and, and um, true, not just to yourself, but to others as well, too. That's one long thing. And the second thing is just sometimes you just have to let things flow. Sometimes you just have to let things happen organically. And also sometimes you just have to... There's a time and place for everything, right, in your life. With what you're going to do, you want to be with, what you want to see, where you want to go, and so on and so forth. And I feel like if you allow the things to happen as they should happen... And I think things will become a little more clearer for your path to follow, for your journey to follow, for your footsteps to follow. So those are my two things that I want to leave you with. 
but I hope you guys enjoy this little episode of being outside, being one, one, one with nature, and, and the pool, and the waves, and the sounds, and the there's like waves happening in the back, and things like that. I hope you guys enjoy your 4th of July. I know if you're not in retail, you're off, but because um, I remember working in retail, we had 4th of July sales. I felt like we were never off, ever, for anything, <laughs> like anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, saw some fireworks, whether you were, you know, seeing it in person or on TV or wherever you are, just be safe, you know. It's like I said, it's now officially summer, summer. The things are opening, people are out, you know, just gotta be careful. But, yeah guys, that's about it. I'm going to end this on a positive note, and I will say one last thing. Be the best version of yourself that you can be. And as well as, don't lose sight of yourself along the way. My thing paused again, but I'm going to say what I just said again, just in case it paused as I was saying it. I said, be the best version of yourself, but as well as don't lose sight of yourself along the way. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's about it. And you guys can find me on um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, and on Pure, as well as TikTok. <laughs> Here's more TikTok. As well as London Pure as well. I don't want to yell, wave in it. That was a helicopter, okay. But yeah, as I was saying, I am on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, SoundCloud, Apple, YouTube, Spotify, all the other fun channels, Alana Pure. You can find me under Pure Sessions, um, as well as I um, hope you guys had a great weekend, have a great week, stay blessed, stay, stay happy, and stay focused. And do something today that you didn't do the day before. Hey guys, that's about it. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your day.